Yo Gotti. That shit went viral. You know, his brother was killed mob style. Blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about mob style. That really happened. Yeah, that shit's sad, bro. Yeah. R.I.P. Jug, man. R.I.P. Jug. And the reason I say blah, 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 you know, a lot of people get mad at me. For yeah, niggas time. don't like that shit, yeah, true. Like niggas be mad that. at you, man. I want to take one second and tell them, look, I feel like young people don't watch the news, you know? And, Facts, you know, a, a lot of the bloggers figured out a way for the young people to watch the news. It's like sneaking the candy and the medicine. FBG Duck murder trial. Video released. We finally seen what everybody talked about. Yep. Uh, we seen what the anonymous juror seen. No more speculation. We seen the videos. You know, Mama Duck went live today on YouTube. She kind of gave us more in depth on what happened. She said the guy who jumped out the car first. If you watch the video, it's a car ride. It's a motherfucker already jumping out the car. <laughs> like on some real shit. It's a motherfucker I already it. jumping out the car before the fucking car stopped. Okay? I seen it. I seen it. She said that was Moop in the video. Okay. She also said, you know, duck fingers was shot off. Okay. Okay. What came to your mind when you seen that video? You a content creator, so I'm pretty sure you ran across it. I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been kind of like, like, kind of what we were saying, bro. Like, I kind of been like burnt out from all the shit. Um, I did see it though. I mean, I mean, shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Shit, when I seen it, I was just like, damn, them look like them niggas, man. Um, like, I ain't even go lie, bro. It look, it look clean like they ass, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? The whole shooting off the fingers, all that shit. I don't know about that part, but just. Right. I didn't know that either yeah. until I heard Mama Duck say that out of her mouth, you know? Yeah. I thought that was strong. I'm not going to lie. You know, I didn't see the couple videos about people dying, okay, Rex? Duck took a lot of shots. He was still moving. Yeah. You know? Yeah, when they pulled off, he was still moving and shit. Right, he was still moving. And that girl who was with him, uh, you know, most people are wait till the coast is clear. And shit. Hey, Shorty a rider, bro. Yeah, she got right out. Bro, Shorty a real rider, bro. Like, mm -hmm. duck, duck, whoever was with Duck G, Shorty did not leave him for dead, bro, at all, my nigga. Like, she rolled for that nigga, bro. So, that was something I seen in the video, too. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was strong. You know, we want to let this case die down. You know, Duck got his justice. Uh, we want to stop blogging about this. Yep. But these videos just got released. You know, Mama Duck on live screaming about it. You know, I don't understand what's people anger with Mama Duck. Do you understand that? I can get people mad at like some of the friends. Who mad? Shit. Like who mad at Mama Duck? Like I don't understand. I see she get a lot of bad energy on the internet. I don't understand that. From who though? From like fans. You know, shit in the comment sections and. You know, make it look like she shouldn't want justice for Duck. Yeah. You know, Duck was a game banger too. I get that. But I mean, mom. Yeah, yo mama Duck. gonna. Yeah, yo mama not gonna believe all that shit. Yo mama always right. think you a good kid, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when yo mama stop, that's why I don't know if you ever see a nigga who mama don't fuck with him, G. That should right. be like, uh. Because niggas, niggas, mamas be fucking with the grimiest niggas, man. Right. You motherfucker mama saying? wouldn't go that hard for a motherfucker when they die like that, you know? Hell nah, sure. But we gonna let that case die down. I am. I stand yeah, on man. that. that R.I.P. Doug, man. R.I.P. F.B.G. Doug. Yeah, man. I, I man. Also, man. Free the fab, bro. I gotta see it. Yeah. I, I said it on on a video, man. Niggas was mad at me, but yo, bro, we don't ask for jail. G. You we know, I don't know about we don't free wish, now. I'm bro. saying we I mean, don't wish jail on I, niggas, I don't man. Got nothing bad about. I'm not seeing. I, I don't you know? look, bro. I'm just saying that's the rules, bro. We don't wish jail on nobody. If niggas want to take care of that business, take care of it. But like. We don't we don't let we don't let the slave catcher do our job for us. I get you. Yeah, man. Okay, since we said that, I got a question for you though that I want to ask that I think a strong question. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people say free the guys, free the guys, free the guys. Mm -hmm. And then when it's violence, you know, they say Black Lives Matter. I know this. In my opinion, I don't think nobody really want to solve crime. You know. You mean they nobody really want to solve cases and shit like that, you know? Nobody really want to do that, but they do want peace. How is that possible? Well, shit, don't nobody want... Well, shit, I feel you like probably motherfuckers don't want the crime to be solved unless it's like they family that's the victim type shit, you know what I'm right. saying? Because it's different when it's your people that's the victim, so then, yeah, motherfuckers probably want justice, but... I mean, shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit's so complex, bro. It's like so... Right. 
It's it's so many so many layers to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you fuck with the police? I do not fuck with the police. Somebody bro, breaking your house, you call the police. Nigga, one, bro, niggas have broken to my crib before and I did not call the police. My my baby mama called the police and then when, when I got to the crib, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And then I just told them to leave and shit. So you handling it yourself? Bro, I don't fuck with no police. It's never a situation where you I, get no listen, police. Listen, bro, listen to me. A motherfucker hit your car, you not listen, calling the police. Nigga, I'm not calling the police. A motherfucker hit your car, on, a motherfucker hit your car driving down the street. You got to get the insurance and shit. No police. Nigga, I'm going to hop out the car and be like, I'm going to start taking pictures. And I'm be like, nigga, let me get your insurance. <laughs> give me your phone number. Give me your insurance number. Bro, this bro. shit already happened. Bro, this nah, shit happened a couple you. times, man. Like... Bro, I don't fuck with police, bro. And I feel like if you carry yourself in a respectable way, you're not no sucker. You really don't need them like that. Right. I now, if you a sucker, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Or a civilian, I ain't going to lie to you. Some people just don't want no smoke. They, the police is for them, bro. But if you out here acting like you anybody, bro, if shit happen, you got to take care of it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll keep it. I called the police one time. Uh -huh. This bitch took off of my car. Uh -huh. Bitch spun me. You need a twin at that time. Nigga, hey, bitch spun the <laughs> fuck out my ass. Bro, I woke up all my shit going. I'm like, what the right. fuck? I mean, because you can't do nothing to no female, so. Rex, I got a real question I want to ask you. You got kids, right? Yep. Uh, is they older, all young? Younger? Um, I got two kids. I got two that's older, and then okay. I got one that's younger. I want to ask you a question, Rex. Uh, How you feel about Chicago public school? If you had a teenager, would you let your teenager son go to Chicago public school? Shit, like one of the magnet schools or something. Like one, you know, they got like CPS got like schools that they public schools, but they gotta like pass a test to get in that motherfucker. Okay, like what? Give me a name. Shit, like Kenwood. That's one okay, of like them. Kenwood, like yeah. the Walter Paytons and stuff. Yeah, like, like what? Whitney Young, Phillips, Whitney all Young. them schools, bro. Like you gotta like. It was just recently a school down here downtown, and recently some kids were killed in front of that school. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know, you know? some uh, perspectives and shit. I ain't gonna lie. When I when I when I a lot of people tell me about the shit that's going on in the schools, they tell me the schools are very dangerous. That's where all the wild people are in those buildings. Well, I think perspectives, bro. That's like an alternative school. So that's like if you got kicked out of school or you or like maybe you too old, maybe you 20, but you still in high school. Right. So that school particularly like where them niggas got hit at, bro, that's like a school for all bad motherfuckers. Right. So I bet that school fucked up. But like it's schools that CPS schools, that's the good schools. You know what I'm saying? Like, are the gangs in the schools? Ha absolutely, bro. Gangs everywhere, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Chicago just like one of them places, bro, where it's like wherever you want, they got it. So if you want some peace and you want to go to the park and look at butterflies, bro, that shit here. If you want some smoke, that shit here. Like whatever right. you want, bro, that shit here, bro. <laughs> right. It's here. Just what? And then, and then Chicago. Uh, I fuck with Chicago, bro, because like I feel like if you ain't looking for it, they ain't gonna get it to you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's right. like if you outside looking for ice cream, nigga, you gonna find ice cream. If you out here looking for other shit, you gonna find other shit. You know Do you mean? know any young gang bangers, like real young young people that's into that gang shit? I don't know nobody. Oh, no, I see a lot of young people. I interview a lot of young people that be young and they, they gang bang and shit like that. I don't, me personally, Rex, I don't know how you can be 14, 15 years old with all these guns, flashing all these guns on social media and your parent don't know about it. You know, I do a lot of studying as being a drill historian. Mm -hmm. So I look at a lot of numbers. I noticed these last couple of years, Rex, when you go to the funeral homes, you ride past the funeral home, you see people standing outside, you know, people smoking the squares and, you know, talking. They just got done with a funeral. Yeah. It's more young people inside them caskets than it is older people in this generation. You notice that? Why is that? You know, it's like it's like grandma burying the teenager. It's like the teenager not burying grandma anymore. You know? My dad told me something that I think crazy that I want. They trying to get rid of us. What your pops tell you? Right. My dad told me it's like the devil know all the older people at church. So when they go to church, he like, okay, since y'all in here learning about God, I'm gonna run to your house while y'all in church and get your kids. You know, <laughs> you feel old me? black people be saying wow, <laughs> hey, hey, old black people got the craziest stories. Hey, he says this shit, and I'm like, you that's know, that's the shit I they am. tell you because you ain't want to go to church. Like when your mama and your grandma went to church, <laughs> you ain't want to go. So then they tell you that story, yeah, like when well, I'm at church, the devil sneaking the house. Look, like, he tell me this too. He say, he say, back in the day, calling somebody your brother meant some shit. Fact. You know, what's up, my brother? What's up, Fact. my sister? Yep. Nowadays, that shit don't mean nothing. 
I mean, it don't. I mean, what? Yeah, what niggas say don't mean shit. But then, <laughs> but then at the same time, like I'm I feel like valued the blood next man back in the day. Yeah. That's my brother. Go on here, brother. You feel? Me? Go on yeah, here, nigga. Yeah, I wouldn't even trust what a nigga said. Nigga had to show me. <laughs> nigga right. had to do brotherly shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I gotta see brotherly shit before we right. before we brothers, man. I ain't just gonna say that shit, man. Right. But, but I, I don't know, bro. I think, um, man, bro, this shit, wow, bro. You know, it's. I, it's the social media shit, man. Really, it's the yeah. computers, bro. It's these phones. It's these computers in our hand. Oh, what you we, mean by that? Because like it used to be like to see the world, you needed a team and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to go downtown, like remember motherfuckers go downtown, you ride the train with your homies and shit, like little different shit to where like motherfuckers weren't really outside solo dolo like that. Right. So in order to even explore the world, nigga, yo ass got to have a little squad and then y'all move together. That's right. Nigga, with this shit, bro, little kid can know everything about the world and never even talk to a, a human, bro. He just was in his phone uh, the whole time, but he know everything off the phone. Right. But he don't got no, uh, niggas ain't got no, uh, like, no communication skills and, like, no motherfucking personality. Like, uh, that's, I ain't gonna lie, bro. These uh, young niggas ain't, these young niggas ain't got no personality. <laughs> right, they lacking that bro, shit. Bro, just turn the camera on and just sit there and just see what happens. Them niggas just be quiet, bro. Right. Like, niggas don't have no personality, man, but, you know, that's. That come from the phone, bro. Like, cause I could do shit without talking to people. I this internet shit in today. That should be wrong. What is Rex gonna do? Like, what's Rex move when all this internet shit? So in? it ain't no, internet shit so you, say, so you saying it ain't no phones, no internet, ain't no, no street certified TV I no more, ain't no two tele TV no more, lie, bro. Man, I'm going right back to the bar, man. Find me a little right. section. You know what I'm saying? Put my play together, man. You know. Try to buy me a building or something, man. So be that's like, the be like, you like be like the L Rukins and shit. You know okay, what I'm saying? Niggas, cut, shit. niggas pull up on my niggas who just come to my building, man. We we got this building. You know what I mean? Like okay. it's always gonna be some, man. Like I, I didn't want to do that shit now. Like just like build a whole community and so shit. So that's the goal. Hell right yeah, now. bro. Like that shit. Um, you know what I'm saying, buddy, ass a rap, but you know that shit. Rollo did before uh, he before he uh, went in. All the homies build a community. Yeah, bro. That's know? that's the shit I'll be on, bro. I'll uh, just get to that. Cause ain't no internet distracting us, so now it's just like, all right, motherfuckers get money and then build. All right, it ain't shit else to do. I'm gonna tell you what I noticed, Rex. I noticed, in my opinion, the 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 more famous and popular and big you get on the internet, mm -hmm. the more your life crumble, the more your personal life is crumbling. You know, the bigger you get in the fake world, the more the real world you is been, going you been, down. You been going through some shit, too? You know, nah, I, yeah, you know, we all go through shit, <laughs> I'm though. Saying, you get but big, this deep, nigga. though, I think, you're right, you feel me? Look, I think the bigger you get in this fake world, I think when you finally cut that phone off. It's you like know, you, 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 got, you don't got as much as you thought without that phone type shit. Well, you know, that's, if all you got is Dior, Gucci, and money, if that's all you got, you broke. Facts. You feel me? That's Facts. all you got, you Because that shit going to be you out of been? season in like eight right. months, nigga. You going to have to buy some more. Facts. I feel like, you know, me, you know, I want my, one of my goals. Look, I, I'm trying to say, you know, one of my goals is I want to I wanna buy a thrift store. That'll be all You hard. know, I want to buy hard. a thrift store and I want to put it on the internet, make it like a thrift store, make it popular on the internet, kind of like a cool kick spot. That'd you know, be wrong, bro. You feel me? I'm a bad sale trade. You know, I'll buy your stuff from me. I ain't had shit when I was, actually I did. I don't want to say that. My dad probably go like, I'm say he bought me shit, but I ain't had what I wanted, you right, know? Right, right, right. And, and some kids ain't got 300 for the Jordans. I want them to be able to come to my store and get a fresh pair of Jordans, 30, 40 bucks. Bro, I think, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think that'll be raw as hell, bro. That's I, th what I, want. I think black people, we need to go back to like them type of businesses, okay. bro. I feel like air black person business be the same shit. Right. Niggas got record labels, motherfucking hair, right. weed. It's like the same <laughs> shit. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? Right. It's like the same niggas are scamming. It's like the same, everybody doing the same shit. So I feel like, 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 nigga, I, like, I'm like a nigga have a butcher shop, bro. Right. Or uh -huh. like a, like a like I told my bitch, bro. Like, Bring produce like, to the go hood. get you a beauty supply store, like so that like, oh, you right. ain't got a bad shit from the Chinese. Like it'd be a black girl with her own beauty supply store, or like right. grocery store, gas stations. Like it's so much money in that shit, and we don't be doing it. And then right. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Imagine you on the gas station, you on the thrift store, you on the nigga. Now we got a whole uh section. Right. That's us now. Building you know well. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, bro. It's like you you ain't gotta go work for the you know what I'm saying for the other folks, bro. You could pull up to your business, bro, and then your brother next door with his business, and then your cousin over right. here with their business. So like, I think that's 
that the internet damn near need to go away just so we can really get to that because that's the real shit. Right. Them Chinese motherfuckers, they be on Instagram too, but they got Chinatown. You know I ain't I mean? gonna lie, I miss life without the internet a little bit, you know? I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna front now, you know, that's a lot of good came with the internet for my life and my family. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of bad came too, but I ain't gonna lie, before the internet, it was real love. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody say, man, it ain't no love out here. It was real love. Like you had real homies. You feel me? Niggas want looking for the cloud and shit. Right, niggas want looking for the cloud. Right now, it's weird. Look, it's so fucking weird. Like sleepovers and shit. You know, little kids have sleepovers. You know, you didn't spend night over your homie house and you was little back then. Hell yeah. They don't even do that shit no more because it'd be like ten motherfuckers in one room doing this. Like motherfucker text. Like <laughs> like motherfuckers could be on text and Facetime and they don't even need to be in each other face type shit. You feel me? Like, what the hell? It's 10 of y'all in one room, everybody in their phones. Fuck y'all here, fuck. Yo, Gotti. That shit went viral. You know, his brother was killed mob style. Blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about mob style. That really happened. Yeah, that shit's sad, bro. Yeah. R.I.P. Jook, man. R.I.P. Jook. And the reason I say blah, 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 you know, a lot of people get mad at me. For yeah, niggas that. don't like that shit, yeah, true. Like niggas be mad that. at you, man. I want to take one second and tell them, look, I feel like young people don't watch the news, you know? And, Facts. you they know, a, a lot of the bloggers figured out a way for the young people to watch the news. It's like sneaking the candy in the medicine. Yep. You know, if you only look at the negative part of the shit, then you're going to get the negative part. The part I look at is some videos might do 100,000, 50,000, 10,000, whatever. That's a lot of shorties that seen the news. Yep. You feel me? Shorties not watching TV. The end of the world can come today right now. If y'all put that Say shit on the TV, all the kids even, gonna die. Say motherfuckers wouldn't even know it if it ain't on their phone. If it ain't on their phone. So that's all that shit is. But how you feel about the whole Big Jug shit? Man, I be Jug, man. I, like I said, bro, that shit. Man, I st I've been staying out that Memphis shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man, that shit hit too close to home, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit, wow, bro, shit. I mean, look, man, you know how it go, you know, bro. street news is street news, man. Man, look, man, niggas sign up for shit, bro. I, I like, that's why I like covering shit when it's done. Right. You know what I'm saying? When the case done, bro, because I be feeling like the one thing I don't like is like, I don't like the bloggers. It be certain bloggers that's like, they be trying to help the police. Right. I don't like that shit. I think that shit lame. Yeah, I think the I police think, not finna come to your job and help you. All right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you literally doing a whole mo another motherfucker job. Like they get paid for that shit. Let them do that shit. Right. You know I mean? think so, a lot of this come with the fame, though. You know, you get this fame shit. I but think, it's it's just rules to shit, bro. So it's right. like if you gonna talk about street shit, if you gonna be a street blogger, do street news, bro. Don't be like, bro. It be real bloggers, like, right. Like nigga, yeah, it's I a it's a video on YouTube right now to right. say yo Gotti already under arrest for Dolph murder, all type of shit, bro. Fake <laughs> shit, G. Right. Fake as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like them niggas, bro. Motherfuckers need to what what, what you say, man? Hit the like button, man. Niggas need to push that shit down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, niggas need you, to I run the other shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a lot of, of fake game, shit, though. You it's know, a lot of fake shit on there. It is a lot of bad shit on there. It's a lot of weird shit that bloggers do, and they kind of put the beef on all the bloggers. In my opinion, that whole blog shit fake though. That's that's the shit the rapper started. The whole blog shit, the police, the blog shit, bad. That shit was fake to me. That was a narrative. I feel like the gang members and like rappers created on blog. Well, I stuff. mean, it's it. it I, just, I, I never believed that. It's just you know? it, it just it's just responsibility with that shit, bro. So it's like. Nigga, certain bloggers like shit. Me and you, we good. Nigga, I stand on the shit I say. Uh -huh. You, you mostly when stories come out from you, bro, it really mostly be from the people involved. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when it's real, it ain't wrong. But a lot of these niggas, I swear to God, bro, nah, they be I using totally they be that. using AI scripts. They be using <laughs> they be using Fiverr voices. Right. Fact. They be doing all the lame shit and don't never want to show their face because all that shit they saying fake nah, as fuck. Them real. niggas don't want to show their face. That's but real. they eating though, right. and that's and and that's a part as the as the fan man. Like nigga, you got to see the real from the fake. Don't get a ass the view. And I get you on that. But with Dolph, unfortunately, we study in Dolph case because Dolph is actually born in Chicago. Yeah, no, nah, man. Dolph is actually Dolph, from the rack. He moved to Memphis. So you know, we didn't did videos on Dolph. You Dolph, know, Dolph wasn't supposed to be and, in the uh, hood and no Lambo, nigga, like bad silver type. I it's don't just, know who killed him, but the whole Yo Gotti and the Young Dolph, you know, that whole situation is a topic I want to touch on right now. Shit, let's get to it. You know, after Dolph died, okay, it has been several murders that has happened after Dolph died. 
Not saying that these murders are linked to Dolph, but this is the topic that's going on. Um, the person who charged with young Dolph death is a man named Govan Hernandez. He's charged yeah, with being a ringleader. Yeah, yeah. His daughter was actually shot and killed. And uh, I believe in Houston. Yeah, that was Lil Uzi. That's Lil Uzi artist, Lil Uzi right? Artist. Uh, a lot of a lot of cash so A lot of cash. A lot of deaths cash. I believe. Okay. So like um, you got Big Juk who recently lost his life. About a month and a half ago, a rapper by the name of Black Youngster who signed to Yo Gotti brother was killed at a uh, gas station. You have a comedian who was cracking jokes against young Dolph. Yeah, against Dolph and shit. He ended up losing his life. And then another artist that's close to Dolph by the name of Snooty Wow. And what happened to Snooty Wow? Being killed due to gun violence. Oh, I was, I, but that okay. shit ain't got nothing to do with Dolph shit, though. I mean, when you type in YouTube, all the videos but point I it think, to the speculation. It's speculation. Yeah, bro. That shit, and that's the shit. That's the lame shit I'm talking about. Like, but what I, comes to your mind when you hear about all those deaths and all those people that's man, connected? It's wild. It's wild in Memphis right now. That's what I said, bro. It's wild out there right now. Memphis a small ass city, bro. It's not big, bro. Like they got it downtown, but like if you've been in Memphis, bro, that shit don't look like Chicago. Bro. It look like a, it look like a side of Chicago. Like you know what I'm saying? Like right. it's, so, it's like all them people getting smoked, bro, in that little ass town. G, like shit wild out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Were you surprised that somebody as famous like Dolph would still be going to corner stores and cookie Hell stores and yeah. shit like that? Like that shit. To be honest, bro, that's.